Canadian travelers are growing accustomed to being challenged when overseas about the behavior of Canadian resource extraction companies. In a recent World Council of Churches pilgrimage for justice and peace to Colombia, partners raised concerns about Canada's free trade agreement with Colombia, about oil, gas, and mining installations, and about weapons sales, not just to Colombia, but other countries, including Philippines. The criticism was softened only slightly with acknowledgement that Canada is the second largest contributor to projects related to implementation of Colombia's peace agreement. Yo me vengo a enterar hoy, eh, o en esta gira no hoy, que Canadá es el segundo país que más aporta a Colombia, y sobre todo en este tema. Decirles que para nosotros las comunidades eso es desconocido. ¿Qué esperamos de Canadá? Que hay unas empresas que están allá, que de una u otra manera están en nuestros territorios. Primero, que hay que trabajar en el cuidado del medio ambiente. Nosotros como comunidades construimos, cuidamos el medio ambiente. En el caso de minería, nosotros sí hacemos minería, pero minería artesanal, que de una u otra manera no destruye nuestro territorio. Entonces, eh, consideramos o le solicitamos a Canadá que haya una, un, más responsabilidad frente a todas las acciones que las empresas que sean pues, de acá estén cometiendo en Colombia y que la base, o que en este creo que también se está hablando de alguna figura que va a ser una especie de defensor, que ojalá pueda llegar a consultar con las comunidades. Yo quisiera hablar de desde la perspectiva de una mujer pastora colombiana, es que nos ha afectado negativamente, ha sido la extracción minera. En Colombia, eh, de acuerdo a algunos datos de la Bolsa de Valores de Toronto, nos dice que en este momento hay 28 empresas canadienses haciendo extracción minera en Colombia. Hay algunos casos muy dolorosos donde el tratamiento que se le ha dado a la tierra, pero el tratamiento también a las comunidades indígenas, a las comunidades afro, a las comunidades de campesinos, ha sido muy mala de parte de esas empresas canadienses. You as Canadians should be able to tell your government why, why are you doing this? What our countries need would be finance for development, finance uh, for um, addressing climate change. We do not need arms. We do not need other equipment and devices that destroy life. The United Church of Canada is at the crossroads at the crossroads on the issues of justice and peace. Because within those issues, they have to address the role of Canada as a country that sends out mining companies that are displacing communities all over the world, number one. Number two, they are polluting the environment all over the world. So that is an issue where, when you are supporting Sudan in their struggle, you are actually looking at the oil industry. Today you have to look at that as Church of Canada, challenge the multinationals that are actually the driving forces of refugees and conflicts and displacement. The earth is being destroyed, the economic model that's forcing people off the land, highly tied to Canadian extractive industries. These informations can be, the information about this in more detail can be found through Kairos and uh, other groups that, uh, um, that uh, our uh, uh, national church offices can, can share. But I've got to tell you, if you're um, in any way tied up in investments, pension plans, stock markets, think about the fact that if you want to make for peace, pray and work for peace, transform an economic system that it is de de destroying the environment and is destroying people, and it has a lot to do with Canadian flags flying over uh, uh, mines that are contaminating the water, the, the, uh, uh, the whole question of multinational corporations often has a Canadian name or at least a Canadian cover. The United Church of Canada works with the Canadian Network for Corporate Accountability and other groups to secure better federal regulation of overseas actions by Canadian companies. As a first step, 
The Government of Canada has promised to create a new office, a Canadian Ombudsperson for Responsible Business Enterprise. That person will investigate complaints and make recommendations for redress. A network within the Church called United for Mining Justice continues to press for more effective measures. The Pilgrimage for Justice and Peace invites us to pray and study, to engage in biblical and theological reflection, to have courageous conversations, to take action, to offer a pledge of commitment, and hold a public liturgy. Check out the United Church website for more ideas and information. <laughs>